Hey everybody to part 2 of my review of the Asus PN50 a mini PC with AMD Renoir this is the last part before we get to benchmarks and gaming I thought I'd show you a little bit the inside of the box how easy the RAM slots and M2 ports are accessible, serial output ports are accessible so to get to the inside we have to remove four screws that's a matter of seconds and then we can basically lift off the bottom of the mini PC and if we look closer we can see the Intel Wi-Fi chip then here the two DDR4 sodium slots that can take up to DDR4 3200 then here we have the M2 slot, uh, if you can see it, yeah, there, and a serial ATA port. So, an M2 slot, serial ATA, and two sodium slots for RAM. Very easily, very easy accessible. And uh, after I did all my testing, I want to have a look if I can make it kind of a tear down and look how it looks on the other side where the APU is located and the cooling yeah that's it um, now let's have a look at the BIOS and then we will get to some gaming and benchmarks let's have a quick look at the BIOS uh, I'm sorry I have to record it with my phone so it's a bit shaky but you're probably already used of that if you are on my channel so the BIOS is very old school. It's actually the way I like it to be. I don't I'm not a fan of those fancy colorful BIOSes we have nowadays. So let's just get through the options. We have the MCTP configuration and dash Realtek Trust Computing Then serial port console redirection, won't probably use that. USB configuration, that's should be that should be known to everybody. Then network stack. Then the onboard devices, real tag LAN, Wi-Fi from Intel and Bluetooth, infrared, NVMe. Advanced power management and platform configurations virtualization. Then, if we go to the monitoring tab, you can see temperature. The CPU fan speed is pretty high, and it's very audible at the moment in this normal mode. I will test the loudness and temperatures later then we have the classical boot options and the Asus EC Easy Flash so you can download the BIOS put it on a USB stick and then if you start a Asus Easy Flash you can choose the BIOS and update it and that's pretty easy as the name says yeah that's it not that m much options but uh, decent I haven't seen any options for VRAM size for example that's a bit concerning but should be fine 